man. Out his hands quickly to Higgins. Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. We're scoreless after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. On first down, man. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The Steelers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. They'll look to throw again. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. Throwing on first down. Man. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true. Back out comes the Bronco defense. They had the pick six just a moment ago, so they're feeling good as they prepare to try and make another stop. Ready. Throwing after the interception. Man. He's going to air one out. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. 